Buenas noches a todos, welcome back to Tom Plays E4 for Absolute Beginners. We are back with Spain, uh, eyeing up the Empire, eyeing up Africa. In fact, to be honest, eyeing up just about everywhere. We've got to the point where I'm almost feeling like we're actually playing the Ottomans. Because I'm just kind of spoiled for cho choice on places to conquer right now. However, first things first, I believe we have an uprising coming any second in a porto. Portuguese uprising of 20,000. Good grief, I just said the size of a song guy in Separatists. Okay, now I'm going to assume we can handle them. So let's head over to be close to a Porto before anything else. Because it also means we can get the army a bit close to up here where we're trying to make claims, which might allow us to take some provinces that are normally part of the Holy Roman Empire which are often, I often at least, consider to be pretty much unassailable Right, let us build a colony here Should be able to get the army up there I think As soon as we've uncovered everything, so I want to start increasing Castilian Brazil. Get these through if we can. I'm not too worried because even though these areas are growing I do feel like we are definitely the dominant nation in South America and certainly in North America as well so not too worried about France are doing. I do want to start subsidising our nations, at least the ones that are able to colonise, as soon as we can. But not panicking. So in other news, we have a royal marriage with Portugal who do not have an heir. Their current ruler is 53 years old and They have a Habsburg on the throne. We've also got a Royal Marriage with Prussia who don't have an heir, but the ruler's only 20 years old, so not counting on that one too much, I think. All right, let's improve legitimacy, because that's also quite low. So grant indulgence for sins should do the trick with that one. That's good. the Atlantic Navy up here okay brilliant With quite a lot of money again I'm just wondering whether it would be worth us making sure we have workshops and manufactories in every one of these provinces because these tend to be extremely valuable provinces up here and I just think it wouldn't hurt to fill in just to give us as much money as possible because we still don't have three plus three advisors but let's just fill them in there right so we've got everywhere that's above plus 0.2 so let's leave that there because we do want to do manufacturers later. And yeah, I guess we're waiting for an uprising. New land claim, I'm going to go with production again. Generally going to go with production now. We're a trading nation. can't claim any of these colonies so we have no choice but to go the other way now yeah, well that's good because whenever we do fight France our army will be a long way away it's not really complaining so we've got one two three four so we're about to get another colonial nation the thing that worries me hopefully we're going to be able to get them up to ten provinces but we will be able to once we take Cascadia from France. 
so it's not something to worry about. It really isn't. Right, let's have another look at... Oh, we can't do much about you, can we? Need to get a diplomat back. That's fine. Just increase the time and wait. So my plan is to let those workshops finish building and then start building lots of manufactories. How's France looking? France is on military tech 22. We're on military tech 22, that's fine. We'll do another military idea. Glorious arms. So we now get more prestige when we win land battles. Unfortunately it looks like Portugal has managed to produce an air. Never mind. Provence. Hmm. Grief, they've got a small. Charles V de Valois. See, it's quite likely that France is going to get Provence now. But to be fair, they only seem to be a one province nation, so it's probably not even worth having a royal marriage with them. Which is a bit of a shame, because they were the ones who lifted that excommunication from us. moderately fond memories of them, but cannot be helped. Nothing else, we will at least revenge them upon front. Apparently Britain have formed a British Mexico as a colonial nation. Ever further, corruption's increased a little. I'm not too worried. In fact, we're actually looking like we might have enough for three plus three advisors. I just really like the diplomatic reputation. And we can make more states, which is good. I don't need to make one there. Do we need to make one there? So again, there's no point making them in places where we're going to have colonial nations, because they can just make them. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, we've got a diplomat again, so let's have another look at Oyo. I was wondering if we can still salvage this vassalisation if we sell them whatever province they think is theirs. for marker on the province? No, apparently they won't. That's helpful. I mean, Dahomey's got IO. Is that what they want? So I don't really see how they can blame us for that. Core provinces. Okay. War against Bonneman, that's fine. Spain and Dahomey. Okay, so it's probably going to be Ondo. I think basically there's just no point in having an alliance with them. It's a shame, but what can you do? I don't think we ever proclaimed a guarantee. We did give them military access, that's not an issue. I give them military access to just about anybody. So, right, that's fine. So we're only down to one excessive diplomatic relation. So as soon as we get another diplomat, we should start improving relations with Dahomey. There we go. And we can also start sending missionaries out again, which is good. Should increase our papal influence. So what else? We still haven't got this uprising. At this rate, the Sungai uprising is going to come before the Portuguese one. Which I'm 
say is extremely annoying. While I'm thinking about buildings, how are we for castles? Yeah, that one could stand for some improvement. Okay, that's fine. Choose a Portugal if we really wanted to. What are we doing for these? Seventeen oh four. Right, let's ask for a contribution in that case. I always use the extra money. Finished coring a bunch of provinces, which is good. Really want this to fire. Now it's not going to fire. Right, so in that case, we need to head right the way back down and get ready for the Songhai separators. Which I have to say is unbelievably annoying. And hopefully, the, I don't think the spies have been caught yet, so... <laughs> wow, we've still got a fort. We now have enough transport ships to go straight across, so... Fine, hopefully the fort will hold out until the army gets there and we can... Put them down without too many issues. Took some damage, but put them down. No problem. Right, we need to... Basically... Hmm. No, Portugal are getting beaten up by Mutapa. Good for Mutapa. Alright, let's have a look. Now... To make a porto a core. Just wondering about fabricating claims. What are we on? 31. 52. Well, actually, to be honest, we could probably only take cleave. So we may as well stop building the spy network there. A bit concerned by, by the time we've finished all this, we. Uh, It'll be too late. Anyway. But let's see. Uh, New Spain? No, we've already taxed them. I think the only one up for taxation now will be... What was it? Spanish Mexico or something? Oh, cool. I did not realise we hadn't finished diplomatic ideas yet. I think because we kept getting the the diplomatic tech, we must just have been so far behind that it was cheaper to get new technology than it was to get the next idea. Which is fine, that kind of sorts itself out, I suppose. Right, so if we just get our army up here. Nothing else, the new advisor with the... Sorry, where are they? With the missionary strength should help with these conversions. So that's something. Nope. Ah, brilliant. Okay. So that is good. Who on earth is this? The Ottomans! Okay, and that was me happily thinking they would not be competition for our colonial ambitions. And there they are. I'm not 
sure I want to start a war with the Ottomans just over Tasmania. But you never know. <laughs> See how I feel. France first. Let's, let's get some ships into the bite. Okay, Portugal have lost to the Cardinal. Other colony finished. It's taken us to nowhere. This one? No. Okay, where else do we have colonies? This one. It is. Right, so that has become part of Spanish Colombia. Which is fine, great. In that case, let's do this one next. That's fine. That's fine, so they're on their way here, so that should at least stop Portugal from taking it. Still probably won't get ten, I don't think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not quite. Not quite. But we'll get them when we conquer Portugal again. Okay, so that's good. Let's just land you in mainland Australia. I think they still have two colonies left to get. So let us give them some subsidies to help them out. Let's especially give... Ooh! Spanish La Plata is getting busy. Give Spanish La Plata some subsidies. And let's give Castilian Brazil lots of subsidies. I really want them to expand. Okay. What else? What else? We've still got a couple of African nations we need to take. Not nations, provinces. Dahomey still improving relations. That's good. We won't be able to annex them for 10 years anyway. How are we doing up here? We have an army. Right, let's look at fabricating claims. So the main one we want is Liege itself, because that will give us direct access to Luxembourg. But I would happily claim the other three. If we can. Okay, we're getting another bonus for Quests of a New World. We've got some separatists, got some other separatists. That's really poor timing. To be fair, I'm not sure they're mostly our separatists, but I suppose we still want to deal with them, don't we? Right, fine, let's turn the army around. Because I still want to claim another province before we attack Liege. Yes, yes, obviously. So we may as well just head down and deal with those separatists and then come all the way back. I'd still like to get this war done before 1704 to take advantage of that bonus we had. Actually, never going to get there in time. Blessing. So we either get a commercial monopoly for more money or we get a diplomatic reputation. I might go for diplomatic reputation because I'm probably about to do an absolute ton of manufactories. Assuming all the workshops are finished and I think that will in itself push us up to
being able to afford three advisors of plus three each. And once we've got that, we've basically got enough money. This could be a pain. So if separatists aren't in our lands, we can't actually eliminate them. Okay, that colony's finished, so let's take this one. So that's basically this bit finished off now. But we've at least increased Castilla and Brazil as much as we possibly can in this direction. We can start increasing it down here as well. See, France is starting to colonize these areas, which is good because I can't compete with them there. So they may as well let us subsidize Spanish Canada because there are some colonies they could still get. Hmm. Good to see they got that island. Of course, at some point, we're going to want to fight Nova Scotia. But we may end up fighting France first. And then of course there's Great Britain and their colonies. Alright, this is all Scotland, is it? Right, fair enough. Got a surprising amount of competition for colonial land, all things considered. Okay, so how are we doing with these separatists? Right, we've eliminated them all. We're just going to have to hope that the other countries have eliminated the actual separatists. So we're not going to get them coming back for seconds. Well, that's convenient. We can deal with them now. And then head back up to hopefully, finally, do this war on whichever bits of the Holy Roman Empire seem vulnerable. Right, the fort should take that area back. So let's head back up to Sarley. Oh great, looks like Prussia's attacking. I have to say that's mildly annoying. Well, surely Prussia can't claim the land, can they? Okay, so Bohemia will join in, Belize would not. Alright, so we might want to wait till that war's over anyway and just take whatever's left. Not to worry, but we do have most of our diplomats back. So let's just start randomly improving with our various colonial nations in South America first. Spanish Peru, Spanish La Plata. Okay, so that's the four South American colonies. Which we have improved with. Nope, it does rather look like pressure is absolutely stomping them. I'm just hoping that they can't actually take land from them. But we'll see. We will see. Keep the conversions going. One of our diplomats has just finished. still join in. I but Liege would join in with this one. So it might still be, be a good time to do it. 2036 we need it to be 30. Might be worth waiting. 
Although we're fast approaching the point where we're going to lose that bonus as well. <laughs> How much longer is this going to take? Okay, Pacifico Norte, our new colonial nation. I think that's a couple that we've got that we're probably not going to be able to get to 10 provinces until we attack someone. Portugal in one case, France in the other, so we won't get the extra merchant until we do that. Yeah, that's convenient. Happen to have the army here. Nonetheless, thank you very much, Bremen, for not keeping your... ...separatists under the control. Again, tariffs on fish. It's still in Brazil, we already taxed them. I'm not taxing them again. I want to keep things nice and friendly. Okay, so who should our last one be with? Probably Limburg, I think. So the only question now is whether we can still find a way to take them. Right, Liege doesn't join in if I do that. However, France joins in if I do this. I'm not ready to fight France. <laughs> it's a bit annoying this. Clearly, everyone else has the same idea as me. <sighs> really need Leash to join in with the um, Cologne fight. Mm. Occupied by Alsace. Actually, how are we doing with the royal marriages? Prussia's still an option. Alsace, Great Britain, Ethiopia. Bonhamans trying to spy on us. It's fine. I'm going to build some more manufactories. Oh, can't build them there. Not to worry. And the Enlightenment has hit. Not with us, unfortunately. Okay, the Enlightenment, here we are. So where did it begin? So you'll see that everywhere that has a university is starting to get it. So all those places with planted universities. <laughs> Seems quite a long time ago now. And now growing the Enlightenment slowly. And it's hit here. Oh, in Naples. Holy right. That might help us to get it. At least we're on friendly terms with them. So we're not going to do anything about it at the moment, apart from maybe accumulate money and uh, let it grow. And wait for Austria to finish beating Cleves up. So Prussia attack them, then Austria attack them. And we obviously weren't the only ones thinking they made a good potential target. And Austria is now the Roman Emperor. Well, that absolutely sucks. That means that Austria might join in if we attack 
So maybe we should just attack Cleve now. It's not amazing, but at least it means Austria hasn't joined in because they're currently attacking Cleve. So we might at least just get this one province when Austria's finished attacking them. Not what I wanted, but better than nothing, I reckon. In the unlikely event we've still got that bonus, which I don't think we will have, we could even try and claim more than we have a claim on. But hey, those provinces are quite valuable, so I'll take it. <laughs> One province is a lot better than nothing. Okay, so what about down here? What is happening down here? I am wondering whether it would be worth maybe trying to take this province? Who's Tapua? Not sure, but if we get to claim on this one, I reckon we could take this without even needing our own army. Possibly a ditto for this country as well. Actually, do we need claims on this country? We do. And they're allied to Kajamarka. Here we don't need claims. And up, fair enough. I think we'll gear up to attack them next. I suspect we didn't win it, I suspect Austria won it, unfortunately. Yeah, I think realistically we are going to need to pull back temporarily. Wait for Austria to finish fighting them. Someone's finished fighting Liege at least. Still waiting for France not to be willing to join in, but I don't think that's going to happen now. But we should at least be able to <sighs> take that one province from Cleve. Cleves, sorry, the province is called Cleve. The nation is called Cleves. So who's attacking them now? Oh, Bremen. Bremen's attacking them. Ottomans are spying on us. Slightly worrying. A colonial country? Yes, let's step in. Let's definitely step in. And I'm also going to start doing a bit of relationship improvement. I'd still like to keep maybe one diplomat back for this war. And it would appear that it is now free milk point day. Once again, okay. Let's take advantage of that then. Grant monopoly charters, demand diplomatic support, curly administrative support. Apparently it can't do these because the influence isn't high enough. Which is annoying. Nope, nothing I can do. Fair enough. Call a diet demand military support. That is a shame. Right, I'm going to finish offensive ideas, which is arguably slightly risky, because we're probably behind France now. We're on 23, we're on 22. There's not much to it though. And we don't have any more national ideas, and the next one probably won't be the military anyway, so... I think we'll catch up pretty fast. We'll probably actually be better off overall. We should also check our military policies because we may have some better ones. So we might want to get rid of local army organization now. Pioneer policies. Maybe. Artillery combat ability. Horse artillery. Yeah, I think that's definitely better. Pioneer policy automatically discover adjacent when a colony is built. 
That one's not actually striking me as all that useful. Oddly enough. Should cost recover on my morale speed. Yeah, I might get rid of that one. I don't think it's worth the loss of military points at the moment. Area. Oh no, second to final colony in this area. Unless one of them colonizes it first. That's Spanish Colombia, sorry, not Spanish Mexico. You're not paying attention? Right, fine. Let's keep on with that. Again, this castle must be pretty good. I shall look forward to owning it. A few of those trying to spy on us. Got another new colony. Oh yeah. Okay, in that case, let us... See, where should we go next? Well, I think we should start trying to cut the French off. So let's try... Not adjacent. Oh, that's interesting. It's like it's a completely separate colony there. That is interesting. So would this be another colony, or is it just that it's technically part of Spanish Peru? Well, with that in mind, let's start here. However, while we're on the way over, I might just attack this place. Because we do have a claim on it. It would be useful to know whom the ally is. Tapua. Oh, it's them. Can we claim them? We can, but I think we might have a job coring them. So I might actually not bother. Just get the army down. We will take them out. It's fine. It's fine. In fact, I shall make a new military leader. It's not very good. And use him in this battle. Hang on, right. We've probably seen this before, but it basically means we've reached our maximum monarch power. So, usually means you should do some development. So I often go to the capital for that. And I'm just going to fire some administrative power into the capital. There we go. Doing that might have made us more likely to start things like the Enlightenment. So it's one thing you could consider as a strategy. It just wasn't something I was very keen to go into. But it can be worth looking into. Okay, no allies, that's fine. I don't need any. Colonial nations will be enough of an alliance for me, thanks. Hopefully we can um, we can just claim that land as part of the war and it will be added to Castilian Brazil. Make them a bit more powerful. And one of these days this castle will actually fall. Not today though. Apparently that was the other castle. get 
there, so I'm going to go and protect the colony. Assuming we can't yet annex them. Yeah, they won't accept annexation yet, so we'll have to wait for our troops from the colonial nations to take down that other country. Never mind the peace offer from Cleves. How about... Yeah, can we get any more land? We can take all of this. So that will probably make our, us more dangerous, as in uh, considered more dangerous. Now unfortunately we've gone long past that bonus we had. But at the same time, I can't help but feel it's a good thing. Just really wish we could have actually connected up to Luxembourg, but never mind, we've made some headway into the Empire. We should do something, definitely. So, yeah, brilliant. Um, what's next? Actually, sorry, yes, we do want to make these into states, if we can. You see, that's another use for admin power. Ah, <sighs> to home me, to home me. When will I be able to annex you? 1706, hold on. Oh, actually, that, that looks like we might be able to already. So we're still at war. Oh yeah, of course we are. Right, we've lost our diplomatic advisor. Apparently we can't actually afford a plus three one. But the plus three ones aren't very good, so I'll go for a diplomatic reputation. A plus one. And what do we have down here? Has anyone made any progress yet? No, apparently not. Okay. Well, that's fine. Tariffs on fur. New Spain, I think we've already taxed them. Not keen to tax them again. Let us... Oh, right, I see. Okay, let's do Gal. Oh cool, someone's there now, so hopefully we will shortly be able to pull them out of the war. Yeah, they can just give us some money. And we can annex these guys. Just basically want to increase the power of our colonial nations as much as possible before fighting France. Spanish colonial empire, so we can reform it. All right, we get less liberty desire if we don't. But we get better trade. Actually, these don't look too bad. It takes administrative power, but it knocks their opinion down. But we can rectify that, I think. The tolerance of heathens, I'm not too worried about because we, we're generally going with the full everyone is Catholic method. So, probably fine. Okay, great. So, hopefully, yes. Castilian Brazil has taken them on. Right, so we do have a decent sized army for attacking Kadjamarka with, in theory. So we might want to consider that for next time. Benin and Cyprus, I doubt we could actually get a royal marriage with either of those anyway. We could become Defender of a Faith. I might actually do that now, if we're powerful enough that we can afford to. Plus, it's going to help us with our conversions. 
Right, so from here on, I'm not going to bother with the church taxes. We certainly don't need to forgive usury because we don't have any loans. So I'm going to go for sanctioned commercial monopoly. So mercantilism is now at 19%. And let's put something towards getting the next paper controller while we're at it. Okay, brilliant. Don't have much war exhaustion, so that's good. It's probably worth leaving this army here for now. It's good to see we've got the fort. Brilliant. I'm just thinking there's probably going to be an uprising here at some point, seeing as we did just conquer the nation. Let's just check that we have royal ties with all our allies. Yes, we do. That's good. That is good. What do we move to home me? Right. Well, we couldn't. They force vassalized us. That's fine. That's going to go down yearly, so we're not in a huge hurry. With the home, so what I'm thinking is we should start moving our army nearby to look at attacking Kajamaka. That's probably the best thing we can do in terms of increasing our colonial power in South America. We'll hopefully take it for Spanish Peru or New Granada, and that should mean that we can use all our armies in mainland Spain when we fight France, and just leave the colonial nations to destroy their colonial nations. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. So, yeah. But I will leave that for next time, and uh, yeah, I will see you then.